Hi, so it's May 19th and it's 80 degrees. So um, I think we've officially passed our hard freeze date and I'm going to put my tomatoes in the ground. Um, I started with my marigolds already. I also am gonna put the cauliflower and the pumpkins in. Um, hopefully I will have a decent video for you. Um, I wanted to show you what I do with the tomatoes before I um, actually stick them in the ground. So if you hold on, I will show you. You want a hole that is deep enough that you'll be able to get the tomatoes up to the crown. So here is one of my bigger tomato plants. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pinch off this remaining seed leaf. So that's gone. And then I just want this growth up top. So I'm going to pinch off this side leaf. And then I'm going to bury it up to here. It's going to look really tiny for a little while, but as it grows, it's going to um, be stronger because it's going to have all of this turn into roots. All of these fuzzies turn into roots when they're in the ground. All right, let's go. So here's the last tomato that's going in. You'll see that I put the dirt up nice and high on the tomato plant, um, create a nice little mound around it so the water rolls off. I got a co-star, that spider is pretty cool. Um, so you mound it and make sort of a moat around it for water to run away from the uh, leaves. And here are my tomatoes and marigolds got four Cherokee purple. So I got the Cherokee purple tomatoes in the ground. I got the pumpkins in. I got the cauliflower in. I got marigolds in. Uh, the radishes are doing great. And as you saw with my video from yesterday, the peas are taking off like crazy. We even have our squash coming up. Um, hopefully during the week I can get the cucumbers in the ground. I want to get them to grow up and over the arbor. Um, I also put the corn in. The corn is um, towards the front. I, I read that you have to plant the corn in groups of three, but only two of my corn seedlings came up. Um, so we'll see if we get any germination with them. Um, yeah, but I'm excited to finally be putting my seedlings in the ground. Um, hopefully I'll have more fun videos for you soon. Enjoy. Pumpkins in the ground. <laughs> 